Hey everybody! Hi, uh, I'm Joshua, and uh, this is uh, well. Actually, today is June eighteenth, two thousand seventeen, and this is the Delver Weekly Development Stream, uh, which I do every Sunday to kind of update folks on the status um, of uh, the video game Delver that I work on. Uh, if you haven't heard about it, uh, it's a procedural dungeon crawler with fantasy first-person shooter and roguelike elements. You can find out more uh, about here on DelverGame.com. We are in early access, so if you want to support us, we're at $7.99 early access on Steam, or you can buy it through Humble, which you also get a Steam key. Uh, I mentioned Steam this, uh, I guess, twice because that's the build that's mostly up to date. That actually, it is the freshest build uh, available. Uh, so if you want in, that's the best way to do it. Uh, if you want to wait till we release, that's also um, that's also fair. I totally get that. Um, let me think. Uh, I guess uh, uh, I guess today is going to be a, a pretty darn short stream. It's probably going to be maybe uh, maybe 15 minutes. Um, uh, <laughs> my kiddo, my son Malcolm is sick. He has, um, he has hand, foot, and mouth disease, which un until you're a parent, you don't really hear about it. It's common in children under the age of five. Um, thankfully it's, it's not really, um, uh, there's no real major health concerns with that, but it does mean he's in constant kind of pain and we can't explain to him that's going to pass. So... Uh, 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 us as a family, we didn't sleep last night and it's been, it's been a pretty, pretty hard 24 hours. Um, yeah, so that's, that's why I'm just going to do a quick status update and hopefully uh, you folks can understand that, um, I'm just focusing on taking care of the kiddo and supporting my wife, uh, because it, it, right now, um, you know, helping him through this is kind of a two person, uh, ordeal. Uh, so cool. So. There's that, there's the pitch, and let's just quickly jump to the command line, go to the repositories, and I'll, we'll look at some of the changes that went in this week. And, um, yeah. So... Okay, I am on new dungeon theme. Um, yeah. Uh, playing around with gen infos, playing around with that stuff. Yeah, I'm mostly just troubleshooting some stuff. I don't really care about this. Um, let me just do a uh, do a git uh, reset head hard and git clean dash df. Clean out my repo. And that should be just back to my new dungeon theme. We can do a, a git checkout master. This will uh, git checkout. Git check out develop actually. That's it. Okay. Uh, get pull. There we go. Cool. Thanks for the support, uh, chat. I really appreciate it. Uh, this is the first time that he's really been uh, this ill, um, and it, it like it, it's nice to hear from the doctor that you know like he's going to be fine. But it's also really. Um, Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, uh, Felix. I appreciate you letting me know. Yeah. I'm, I'm definitely like, um, off today. Yikes. That's probably really poor quality. I, I apologize. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just kind of out of it. Um, but let's just do the status. And, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please, please ask them. Um, so it looks like Chad is, wow, so passing texture size into sprite shaders. So he's doing some interesting work with some more shader work uh, around like um, glowing edges for magical stuff, um, some cool um, uh, particle effects with shaders. Uh, there's a foliage shader, which I think improves um, how we were doing foliage, uh, kind of the, the subtle wiggle animation. Um, uh, bah, 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 bah. I think what else? Uh, passing sprite column out. Um, yeah, so this is kind of cleaning up the shader for the foliage stuff. So it used to be, there was a, I guess the initial implementation wasn't, um, uh, wasn't perfect and Chad, uh, improved it and now it works like we expect it to, um, forcing foliage to be static entities. Um, uh, if, if you're, when you're working on your mod and you have to, ch uh, and you're, you're placing down, um, uh, entities like models and you have the option for them to be static or dy dynamic, um, pre prefer static if you can, they are, they are much, much cheaper to, to render. Um, but if you need them to break or move or stuff, they have to be dynamic. But try to try to prefer static where you can. 
Uh, Re-enabling attached property for foliage in the editor. Uh, cool. Uh, magic item shader is a bit more pixely. Yeah. Um, picture. So this is just tweaking how the, the, the effect looks. Uh, magic item shader color and weapons is now determined by elemental damage. So if it's a fire, uh, a fire sword, it should have a fire colored uh, outline, etc. cetera. Uh, hotbar size is data driven. This is really cool. Uh, inventory and hotbar sizes can now be arbit or arbitrarily set. Um, so we can have both a backpack and a, a belt size that change, uh, which is cool. Uh, added unique items uh, that add bag and inventory slots. So that's again, um, these, are, these, are, these are things that change that, which is cool. Uh, added support for persistent inventory upgrades and progression. Um, that's, that's new. Uh, I haven't even seen that one yet. Um, uh, yeah, that's cool. Maybe huh, like, like, uh, persistent inventory upgrades. I'm curious what that, that pans out to be. And shopkeeper sells inventory. So maybe this is just more inventory space. Um, I don't know. Uh, modified dungeon shopper keeper text and tweaking gold drop rate. So it looks like Chad's been pretty, pretty darn busy this week. Um, for myself, uh, I've been mostly working in my, let me just check out my ranch and see if there's any changes in there or not. Uh, so get check out. Uh, feature slash new dungeon theme. And just do a git log as well. Yeah, again, um, so I have these procedural bookcases actually working and they look nice and they do all kinds of crazy stuff. And then I uh, added a bench, which is kind of like a, a chair, just trying to decorate some stuff up. Um, um, I'm, I'm, I was working on some small props because I, I kind of got stumped on making larger props, but the larger props are nice because they really break, uh, break up the kind of the shape of the room more, but they are harder to place. And uh, I, I do need uh, Chad's help on some of that, uh, that logic because uh, the rotation on prefabs uh, is, is kind of messed up. So prefabs uh, rotate one direction if they are just a model and they rotate a different direction if um, they are like a, a prefab, if that makes sense, or group. So yeah, so when, uh, hopefully Chad can help me get that straightened out and I can just focus on making art because it is getting late into June. Um, um blah, 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 blah. let me see. Uh, Felix says something off topic. How did you achieve the borders of the train at the start camp? They don't have outer walls. Um, yeah, we can take a peek at that real quick. I think, it, I think it has to do with just setting, um, the textures correctly. Uh, what else? Yeah, I'll answer Felix's question. Then I'll probably I'll probably sign off. Again, apologies for the the short update today. What are you doing? So you can just, let's open up the start level. And if I go over here to the edge. Uh, you see that the edge actually doesn't go all the way out to the map. The edge leaves at least one tile uh, between the edge of the map and uh, the inner part of the map. And if you just hit G, uh, you'll see that the upper wall and lower wall are this, this, um, this kind of, uh, bluish color from the um, uh, from the, 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 the default texture uh, texture sheet. So um, if you look, it should just be right here. Um, I should probably put some text on there to let you know that it's a special tile and not actually a blue tile. Um, yeah, because if we were to change it, um, say like the upper, all of a sudden now it looks, it looks way different. So yeah, just setting the upper and lower wall to this uh, texture. It's a special texture. Um, but yeah, and there's no real dock on this either. Um, oh yeah, and it's using my weird decorator thing too. So that's why it looks a little, a little weird. Um, but yeah, that's how, that's how you do that. Um, cool. Uh, let me think. All right. I think, I think if there's no more, oh yeah, without carving it. Uh, I think it's carved. Was I was I wrong? Actually, it might not be carved. It might just be a full on solid tile. Let's take, let's take another look at that. Uh, levels start. 
load. Then actually let's just create a new create a new new level. And if you if you make a selection and hit enter, you'll carve it out. That's nothing new. Um, but what you can do, I believe, is you set the upper wall to this and the lower wall to this. Um, and then let's see if I yeah. So what what I did is um, you select the the outside tiles and you hit shift enter uh, just to paint. Um, that just paints the texture without actually carving it. So yeah, you need solid geo uh, that is painted with that particular texture, if that makes sense. So make a selection, hit shift, enter to paint. And you probably could even do something weird like um, pull this out like this, and then just, um, again, you could probably paint these up to make them sky as well. And it doesn't have, it doesn't have to be rectangular, just as long as the, the neighboring tiles are uh, filled in and they have that particular um, yeah I mean you, you can't walk through it of course but it, it, it will render the skybox hey Michael hey Dakota um, yeah let me real quick let me just switch over to um, uh, master and just make a note of that so you get check out develop and then I'm pretty sure I pop into Photoshop. Let me open up. Uh, where do I need to go? Repositories, Delver, uh, Engineer Assets. Um, uh, so I need T textures. Yeah, this one right here. And I also want to open up maybe just uh, UI font, I think is the one I want. Pixel. Cool. And then I just want to put skybox in this so folks know what it is. I think this is a bottomless pit, but it actually might use the, the texture from that. So let's just really quick, let's, let's grab this. The, rip that stuff out and actually that might be do i have enough room where my shit is i might have to hand draw it let's see uh marquee tool s a y b o I don't think it's, it's probably, it's probably way too wide actually. Yeah, so I'll just have to do it two lines, which is fine. Even though, I guess skybox is not really a real word. I mean, it's a game word, but it's not a, a real word per se. Um, yeah, that should be good enough. And save. And then let's fire up the editor. Open levels. Actually, we just do a new one, right? So let's just make a selection, carve it out, and then select uh, skybox. There we go. Yep. I'm just confirming that there's, there's nothing bad coming of this because I don't think we do anything for the texture. So there we go. Cool. Yep, that's fine. 
All right, let's commit it and call that a day. Uh, adding text to skybox texture. Cool. Yeah. And that definitely is just like a, like a stand in debug texture. Okay, cool. So let me see. So, um, all right. Sounds like you folks, looks like Dakota's trying to tweak sh shader stuff. <laughs> um, nope. You can't sit on chairs. Um, hey folks. Um, again, if you're joining the stream late, I apologize, but I, I'm going to uh, cut the stream uh, early today. Um, my son is sick. Um, and, uh, the whole family, we've not slept. Uh, it's been pretty rough. Um, I'm exhausted. He is in constant pain and, uh, I'm going to go comfort him. Um, if you, if you're interested, I will be doing, I'll, I'll still try to be, I, I plan on doing my, my, my week daily, um, uh, lunch break project. Uh, it's called lunch break roguelike. Um, though if Malcolm is still sick tomorrow, uh, we can't take him to daycare. So I'll probably, I might have to hang out with him tomorrow, but I will keep working on that as well. If you're interested. Um, it will be at noon uh, Pacific, uh, during the weekdays. Um, Hey Javier, bye Javier. Um, unfortunately, yeah, I, I got to head out. Uh, I got a sick kid to take care of. I wanted to just update you folks as to where we are in development and, um, just let you know that, uh, I haven't forgot you and we're still working on Delver. Uh, but unfortunately real life is kind of taking over right now. Cool. All right, everybody. Um, again, you guys are the best. I will see you. Um, either tomorrow, if, you, if I have time to do with my lunch break project, or next Sunday um, to work on Delver proper. Uh, thanks, everybody. I appreciate your support. <laughs>